Hello YouTube, this is Norman Morris and in today's video we have some Battlefronts 2 gameplay for you guys. Now I've been playing this game since Friday, since it came out. As soon as I got out of work, came home, started downloading the game and started playing it. Now I haven't uh, unlocked everything in this game yet. Uh, since I've only been playing it for two days now. Uh, but if you log in daily, you get these daily loot boxes or crates uh, that give you some cash or some uh, crafting parts people that pre-ordered this game uh, got some star cards that are level 4 already and I've been playing against them and they're pretty hard to beat uh, for me since I didn't pre-order this I bought it the day of uh, I've been starting from the bottom as you have one card unlocked or one slot unlocked so far uh, but right here I'm gonna show you guys uh, the only way you can unlock the next two slots for you guys to use more cards is you have to unlock more cards or craft more cards the more cards you craft the more spots you have uh, so you can uh, use your star cards in those slots so you can see here I'm gonna start unlocking all these cards one by one now I'm glad um, they took out uh, the ability for you to purchase these loot crates because if not a lot of people that do have a lot of money to spend on this game would have been already max level on every class and every trooper and every hero they would have been already uh, maxed out so I'm glad that they took that out so now the level the playing field is level for everybody and they can start from the bottom uh, I know that the people that uh, pre-ordered this they got some free f level 4 star cards which I've already played with them and they're pretty hard to beat uh, but me since I'm starting from the bottom I'm, 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 I am unlocking level 1 cards right now. Now I play this game most of Friday afternoon and I played this game on Saturday morning uh, for a couple hours and I was able to grind it out and uh, unlock some crafting parts just enough for me to unlock every one of these cards just on the heavy side. As you can see I already unlocked one more slot so I'm able to use one more card so I need to unlock more of these cards or craft more of these cards so I'm able to have that third slot so I can have these star cards uh, in each of these slots. Now all the cards that I am crafting right now they're all going to be level one uh, as you can see but as, the more you play the game you'll be able to uh, earn more crafting parts and able to upgrade these cards to level two, level three, level four. Uh, which will help you out uh, in the multiplayer when you guys are playing uh, other players uh, your health will be faster your cooldowns will be faster uh, you'll get more points and so and so and so on so now that I am locked or crafted every star card I have these two spots or slots now time to pick uh, to see what I'm gonna use and I still have to try all these cards out and see which which fits better for my gameplay so I really don't know what a lot of these cards do yet. So I'm just gonna pick what's best for my class or at this time for me to play in. So I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna pick one more right here. We're gonna go with, let's see, Thinking Defender. So we're gonna try these and see how the gameplay is. Now I got all my start cards picked. Now I've been using the DC 15 LE. Uh, I started off with the DC 15. Uh, the DC 15 has a little bit less recoil than this gun right here. Uh, but I still haven't unlocked any of the attachments for it. So I still don't know how the, the gun actually is going to react uh, once I start playing in the multiplayer with the attachments uh, unlocked. So we'll see once I get that, uh, I'll be able to see if the gun reacts or feels a little bit better. So here we're gonna go to job in four. We're gonna pick our class. Now I like the heavy class. I like the weapons on them. And I like the explosive sentry that I have uh, unlocked the star card. It actually turns your uh, ability instead of that rapid fire, it actually turns it into like a cannon and it throws out single shots of explosive lasers or whatever they're called 
and when you hit either a player or the wall or the floor near a player they take splash damage so it's actually like a mini grenade launcher or bazooka uh, so that's what I've been using uh, the loadout that I've been using for this game this is my first time playing on this map so I really don't know the map so far so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just camp in this corner and defend this point and the point down here from right here give me a clear kill right there and you just have to watch this window down here as you can see the gun has a lot of recoil and I can defend this point from this angle right here this window throw a grenade over there just gotta watch that windowsill Player down there. Taking a couple of rounds from over here. There he goes. And just sit here in this corner. Now you can't play this game like Battlefield or Call of Duty. You just gotta play a little bit slower. Uh, the maps are huge. And it's pointless to be running around and trying to play this like Call of Duty. Now right here, there's there's the explosive sentry. As you can see, the enemy's taking some splash damage. Now this ability right here is pretty powerful. Now this is uh, the star card that I have for this. It's at level 1. So imagine once I get it to level 4, how much damage I'm going to get. Now once you activate it, yeah, you move pretty slowly. So uh, that's the only downfall about it. You get a lot of damage, but you move real slow uh, once you activate it. Now I'm playing in uh, on my Xbox One X. I'm playing in 4K. Now the graphics in this game are one of the best. I've been playing Star Wars since the beginning of time. Um, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so this is one of the best uh, looking games that I've seen uh, since I've played all or every Star Wars game out there. This is actually one of the best. As you can see, we got players running over here. So see, you try to run around. Like this is Call of Duty. There's so many different uh, ways to uh, flank the enemy. Uh, it's pointless. It's just make, you just gotta make sure you sit in one spot and guard a point. Because there's no point of rush. This is not Battlefield and it's not Call of Duty. You can't play it the same way. Now I've got a couple players over there. And as you can see, I'm gonna activate my uh, explosive sentry. And from there, I can take enemies out. This player will move out the way some splash damage give me a couple kills so you can see how powerful this weapon is or the star card now this is only uh, the level one card so uh, I'm still trying to see what it's gonna be like when I activate it at level four I got a couple players over there at that window I step back and my health uh, regain real quick and we can be back at it again I'm gonna see if I can peek real quick right here. And they're over there. Take a couple of shots. And I'm gonna activate it again. And I'll start taking them out from right here. There it is. You see that? You actually get a couple multiple kills uh, with this uh, star card. The splash damage is so powerful. And it actually travels pretty far. Got a couple players over here. I got stole my kill. Two more players. I got stole my kill there too. Now we got some walkers coming. Now I'm gonna try to use my explosive uh, sentry on it. Now if that uh, walker has a better star card than me, uh, no matter what I do to it. Um, since my cards are a little bit lower than theirs, the damage is going to be so low, so it's better that um, you have all your cards uh, leveled up to level 4. Give me a couple kills real quick. Looks like that guy was glitching. Just disappeared. Another one. There goes the panic knife. Take this guy out. Let my cool down real quick. There's the explosive sentry, and I'm gonna take a couple of rounds at these guys. 
There it is. Another kill. Take a couple rounds at that walker. This guy's just standing here. Take him out. There's the walker. As you can see, the health on him is pretty strong. Some more players over there. Let my gun cool down. You know, give me a couple more kills right here. There it is. I'm gonna activate my explosive sentry. Take a couple of shots at the walker. You can see my uh, damage output is not as strong. It's just because my card is at level one. This guy takes me out. As you can see, he's got three level two cards. So he's gonna be a little bit stronger than me. And right here, I'm gonna load in again. And you can see my cards. I have three level one cards. So they're gonna be a little bit stronger than me. And there you have it. We won. Easy game. We held them back. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It really help me out. Uh, this is No Remorse. Signing out. If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried.